Hello and welcome back to Drakengard 3. So with uh, the slutty sister defeated, we've got ourselves a new companion, well, Dito, and we're heading to the mountains. That's kind of where we're heading, really. So uh, there you go. With five defeated, Zero, Dito, and Mikhail head to the land of mountains, a rugged area under control of Zero's sister four. The nice one, more or less. Slightly nice. Okie dokie. So, we have a spear we can upgrade, should we want to. It's not necessarily a bad idea, but it's not the best spear either, so I'm not particularly worried about that right now. I am going to upgrade Sinful Scream one more level, because it's, a bit more, it's useful for a little while, so... As you can see, it gets pretty burly pretty quick. Anyway, onwards with the campaign. I'm sure there's some words to be had after that whole stabbing your intoner in the boobs thing. That probably needs to be addressed. By the way, guys, who thought I was censoring it? You guys are so silly. Why would I censor it? After it's the game. Five in the land of seas, Jeez. Zero took Dido, her sister's disciple, and made for her next destination. The land of mountains. Home to an impenetrable alpine citadel. Governed by the chaste intoner known as Four. Well, they say impenetrable. But how impenetrable is that? For you do not fight alone. Yeah, Tyvon, Michael, appreciate that. Your dragon's protection must be a welcome thing indeed. You should thank him. Uh, I will. I'm dreaming again. No, Katarina, you're playing lol. Not every dragon is like you, Michael. Unfortunately. Hooray! Now we can talk to people, but since we have a new person, we can... The mountain breeze feels good, doesn't it? Beats all that sticky saltwater air clinging to your skin. Or the sticky, sweaty touch of Lady Five. God, I think I'm gonna gag. Hey, you shouldn't talk like that. You're her disciple. A disciple's supposed to be nice to his intoner. <laughs> like I give a good goddamn. Old blubber bags went and kicked the bucket, remember? She doesn't mean squat to me anymore. You saw it yourself, didn't you? The way my blade split those ridiculous fun bags clean in two, it was like fine art. What a way to go, huh? I should have been a butcher. <laughs> a balanced, insane individual. Anyway, let's talk to our baby dragon. Hey, Zero. Do we really have to go kill Four? Not this again. It's just... I felt really bad for Five, you know? She was crying. She was crying a lot, and you killed her anyway. You know that was just an act, right? Yeah, trust me. If there's one thing Five was good at, it was faking. I don't like it. I still think you should stop killing your sisters. Uh-huh. Well, since his opinion means absolute diddly squat, let's there's get going. There's nothing worse than sisters fighting each other. All right, let's pretend for a second. Imagine there's a big pile of raw meat here, okay? Mm, yummy! Now, if you divided that meat among all the dragons in the world, you'd only get a little bit. That's right, just one tea. But you'd rather have it all to yourself, right? Oh yeah, I want the whole big pile. Well, I want to kill my sisters so I can have the world to myself. Make sense? Um, no, I don't get it. Never mind. Come on, let's go. I've got a sister to murder. Okay. It's so funny and cute how he's just like, Alright, then fine, I suppose we can murder it. Mm. Oh, sorry, don't mind me. I'm being sophisticated this evening. I have a nice glass of wine. Mm. Perfect for an evening of murder. Alright, um, well, except for the load screens in between. I don't really mind the load screens in this because it's nice music. Which I'm, of course, yapping over. Apologies. Mmm, the land of mountains. So, we have a second weapon now, isn't this fabulous? Let's show what this weapon can do, which I'm sure it will show me. <laughs> Bingo. Spears not only pack power and have a long reach, they can also be used to break the enemy's guard. Yep, hold down the triangle button and you get just that. All troops, defensive positions. Now, this is a small spear, so it's not particularly effective for just scale murder. Here, well, someone's confident. Oh, really? Wow, I'm running out of juice really fast. Anyway, what we can do, if we tap the shoulder buttons on the fly, we can swap to a new weapon. Which, of course, is really efficient and useful. Yeah, and I upgraded my weapon, too. 
should be gone, Zero. You got me? Huh? How the hell should I know where Fours hold up? She could be anywhere. So you don't even know if this is the right path? Nope. What the hell, lady? Uh, all of a sudden, my legs feel ten pounds heavier. Want me to chop them off for you? Fine, fine, I'll sh- There we go. I'll change weapons. Shut up. Dragon! It it's a dog! It's like dragon! This must be the end of the world! We've gotta do everything we can here! Yeah, until the dragon stomps us into pudding. Oh, well, uh, see you later, Mikael. Don't wait for me or anything. Whatever. Go do his own thing. Boink! Just fly off while we're stuck hoofing it? Why not? I just get in your way down there. And besides, this way I can scout out what's ahead. Huh. Well, have fun being our decoy. Just make sure I haven't missed anything. So yeah, the companions actually do come on the field and fight with you, which is kinda nice. They're a bit crap, but it's you know, it's a welcome addition all the same. Distinct impression I'm gonna miss Ah, there's one. He's so enthusiastic. He's so sweet. Whoa. I'm gonna try so hard and show these guys Watch just what I'm made It'll kill you in a single God, he's a handful. Don't you ever get tired of babysitting him? Of course. And now I've got two brats to babysit. Whatever, Grandma. You wanna die? Oh, die! Someone take a shot. You know how this works. Uh, let's see. Yank. God damn it, four. Making me come all the way out here. The demon encoder is here! Damn it. Now I've got to check the other way. I'm just going to make sure I don't miss anything. I don't want to miss these pissing All this hiking bubbles. is going to turn me into a muscle-bound freak. Yeah. I'm not into the buff, macho look. kind of creeps me out. Don't want to see it on me. Don't want to see it on my partner. Less bitching, more climbing. Yeah, Tito's a strange lad. Amazing these zero puts up with him. Further is it? This trail sucks. <laughs> I'm sure it beats spending another night with five. You have no idea. That nympho freak was always making me try some new kink she'd heard about. What's a kink? You don't need to know. <laughs> yeah, let's not tell the kid about all the dodgy sexual things they got up to. That's a good idea. Ooh, cannons! Murder. Alright. This bit of the stage is used for all the side quests and stuff, which I haven't done yet on this account. Whoop! And probably will not do until later. Yoink. Oh, I did say I'd show you at least one. Maybe today. I don't know. See what time we get. No oh, cannon dudes. They're just cannon mooks, same as everyone else. Mookty mookty mookty. Uh, I'll show you what this does, actually. I didn't do it last time today. So, should we require assistance from El Dragono? We just go over here and go, hello! And he sort of rains painted down upon Damn the battlefield. Wait! That's no hostage! Zero? It's a disguise! We must give Lady Four time to escape! Uh, sure. Far cry from me, Four. Get behind her! <laughs> Assuming you're even alive. Ah, look at those bulging uh, muscles. We can't win! We need to flee! Soldier's dead. Hooray! The game loves doing these arena style areas, which is fine. Um, I honestly think they're there to mask load screens a lot of the time. Like this, for example, is load screen masking. Considering what the load times it are like in this game, I kind of appreciate that. Man, just think how strong she was before she had her arm replaced. Chase her down. Our numbers can overwhelm her. I don't think numbers matter to an intoner. There are barricades everywhere. Break them down. It's crazy how much effort Four spent securing this place. That's an intoner you for you. Yep. Accessing to the point of obsession. Uh, Hello, gentlemen. Uh, well, you present company accepted all that. I could obsess over killing you again. Me? <laughs> that was the enemy speaking. Go get him, Tiger. Damn you, sir. Damn the accursed intoner. Ah, shit. You, you, amazingly, you think that, you know, the disciples would be kind of traitorous bastards, but, you know, he sticks by me, which is always nice. We're all gonna die. Yes, yes you are. It's unfortunate, but, uh, look on the bright side, you're only getting chopped up, considering what happens in this game. 
Being chopped up is probably a better way to go than some of the other ways you could go. Like being burned alive by a dragon, being eaten by a dragon, being stepped on by a dragon. Yeah, anything related to the oh, dragon tree. Watch out, there's more. Don't know when to quit, huh? There's a lot of talking between Zero and the Disciples, which is what makes it the bulk of the sort of interesting chit chat and small talk of the game. You you hear a lot of stuff like exposition wise with them chatting, which is really nice, and I like the way they do it. It keeps it interesting. Ew. Oh my. Bad doggy. All right. Let's go murder some dog of some sort. Cerberus, there we go, call it. Yoink! Come on, Mikhail! Okay, these guys are pretty cinch. Stay away from the face. A Cerberus, huh? What's the plan, boss? The plan? I was thinking we'd kill it. Shocker! It does look like a tough one. Let's kill it. I know! Stop repeating everything! Maybe I can face some fire from up here? As long as you don't hit me with it. Yeesh, it's a face only a mother could love. Seriously, with a mug like that? Well, two of his heads are off, that's always a start. Oh, what are you whinging about anyway? Oh. Well, that's that, he's gone. Guess suicide is more efficient than getting your head chopped off. Yoink. Intona mode is excellent for like finishing off big dudes. I was nervous the whole time. Why? It's not like I was going to lose. And don't call it a pup. Well, it is kind of puppy. Bring it on, demon! Alright. If you insist. Splat, 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 splat. Ugh. He's dead. Alright, well, Lady that's... Four get away safely? I don't know. Once things calm down, maybe you and me can have some fun. I mean, you are a lot more attractive than old blubber bags, after all. <laughs> well, that's kind of it, yes, I guess. She's a virgin. Uh, is that it, or? She's a virgin in tone. Think about it. Hmm. Yeah, well, girl must have a real stick up her ass. And what kind of idiot disciple would serve a virgin in toner? Got me. Probably some depraved pervert. <laughs> I can imagine. Well, that's incredibly spot on, actually. It's definitely a depraved hey, pervert. Dragon. And he's also Does my favorite character. Sleep together? There we go. He says I stink. Plus, I might roll over and smush him. <laughs> Man, that's rich. We'll tell you what. You just stay away from us tonight, all right? I'll take care of you. <laughs> nope, he's got big plans tonight, then. Ooh, goodies. Goodies, goodies, goodies. Goodies is where the heart is when you think about it. I get chalky silver coins, broken jewels, other bits of shit that no one else will want, but I'll flog into some invisible person at the end of the map and get myself inexplicably some money from somewhere. Ah, video games. And those of you who've been paying attention probably noticed the crates say items on them as well. I like that, it's just like, pfft, who gives a shit? Anyway, uh, stage end, I guess. Whoop, whoop. Whee! Oh, lordy. Okay, uh, also, blood splatter. People um, weren't too bothered by the on-screen blood splatter. It doesn't take it off zero, it takes it off of uh, the screen where it sprays on the side, so... It's Cerberus, idiot! Yeah, idiot, pay attention! Get that slobber mouth. Oh, let's finish him off, why not? We've been around the ship. Look at that nasty thing. Fighting to stay alive. Nothing worse than some stupid chump who doesn't know how ugly he is. XP! <laughs> I'll put you back where you belong. <laughs> oh, isn't this pretty? Oh! Now he's got no heads.
Well, that's not fair. Also, oh dear. Sarah, are you okay? That actually looks fine. How an intoner regenerates? This can't end until all of them are dead. It can't end. Zero. Well, how about that, huh? Yup. Glad this game is censored, huh? Whoop. Seriously though, guys. You really thought we did that? You thought I had mad skills to do like censorship screens and stuff? Damn. Must be getting good with my editing. Hooray, level six. Woo, stuff. Ceremonial blade. Some money. And a copper base material. Excellent. Which does mean we can't upgrade our sword any further, which is kind of a shame, but uh, these guys get mutilated in a few hits anyway, so it's no biggie. Now, that's the only main mission I'll do today. I'll quickly show you what the side missions are like. I'll do one, and you'll see what I mean. Um, I'll, I'll have to do a few off camera, probably, but... Uh, oh yeah, we have a new button. So it's two disciples. Current disciples, which implies uh, more than one, obviously. But you'll see. So, continue campaign. Oh, no. I want to do chapter select. There we are. And let's do a quick mission. Yoink. See, so payday is pretty good. Actually, this is the best one to do um, for now. I'll show you why. We got to, we do this one first, and eh, eh, you'll see, you'll see. So don't rely on your items, don't rely on your companions, don't whine to be about rules one or two. Our accord rules. Accord being the shopkeeper, by the way, with that who left that note. Anywho, the payday missions are slightly different than the rest of the one, and they only unlock after you do a certain amount of missions. So ideally, if one's unlocked, like it has here, it's best for us to do it first, and then as we do additional missions, we'll unlock it again and again and so on and so forth. Um, we're against the Gigas, so there he is, gold farming. Now, first thing to first, we run up there and punk his ass with the old thingy. I might not be able to kill him at this stage in the game, very efficiently. I don't know, it depends. Maybe. maybe. Yeah, I can actually kill him, fine. Cause we just, we just use this mode and punk him. There we go. Stop. There we go. Collect all the money. Yay. It's a good way of getting some dosh, actually. Now we got double gold, which is always nice. And it will summon in one of these gold soldiers somewhere. Gold soldier incoming. Where is he? Now what we do, we take out this gold soldier as much as quickly as can as well. He's a bit sturdier than the Gigas, believe it or not. So the faster we can take him out, the better. If I can do, if I can kill him, I'll be surprised. But you never know. Because they don't flinch, so we need to stay away from him. Nah, I'm not gonna kill him. However, he drops lots of gold, so let's collect a bit and then back off. If we get hit, we lose a load of gold, so ideally I'd rather just slap him a little bit. If we kill him, we get quadruple gold, we get we also get another two soldiers, we kill them, we get quintuple gold, etc, etc, etc. Which is always nice. And it's a good way of getting money in the game, especially the later versions of that, which is nice. There are also, there's basically three kinds of side missions. There's the gold missions, there's the get me X of amount of shit, and then there is the arena, which are survival arenas, which are pretty self-explanatory. If it's not self-explanatory, then just look at the words survival and or arena in any particular order you feel like, and you'll probably find out what the words survival arena mean. I'm nice with that. Anywho, so, acquire seven teal stones. People of the land seas really love their teal stones. I got a request for seven of them, bring them back, and you will be rewarded with booty. Not ass, by the way, I mean like gold. I don't think Zero needs ass. Then again, I don't know. Maybe she does. I'm not zero. Not here to judge. I'm just here to murder. So yeah, the main problem is the load times for doing these side missions, especially later game where you have to farm all the weapons. Because eh, 15 seconds for every single time you're doing this is kind of a bit annoying. Oh wait, yeah. Kill the dudes. Watch out for the guys with bombs. So a little bit differently is an enemy that isn't in the regular game, which are big old soldiers with bombs. For all they got. 
Luckily, we can just murder. You get five minutes on this first one, and it's incredibly easy. The only way to piss this up is if you stand next to a bomb and get murdered. Like, whoop, almost did that. The bombs do loads of damage to the enemies as well, so kind of the best idea is to, well, mutilate the enemies with the bombs, if it's all possible. Now, if you want, you can use the, um, the intoner mode to, like, fly across the map and brutalize everybody. Which is always handy, I suppose. We Most of them have a really strict time limit, especially the later ones where you basically have, say, a minute to kill 25 dudes, which can make it a bit trickier. But as you level up, you get longer, uh, you get more damage in your intoner mode and you get a longer uh, sort of timer, I suppose, which is fine. Okay, we don't even need to kill all the soldiers, in fact. Let's just go up shit and move faster. Whee! There we go, let's pick up the last stone. Yoink. All teal stones are acquired. That would be one of Dragon Guard side missions. Uh, as you can see, there's not a lot to it. There's no story. It is literally go in, kill, get a bit of dosh, and or cool special upgrade. Which is fine. Um, they, they do exactly what you need a side mission essentially to do, which is get your little bonuses and whatnot. Ooh, I've got time. I'll do one more. There we go. Recovery potion limit. Carry size increase from two to three. It's really handy. Um... Having potion limit increase doesn't really matter until later, later, later game. We're talking like the very end of chapters where shit starts hitting really hard and you don't really want to die because it's a pain in the ass. So chugging some potions is a cheap way of keeping your health up. Um, I'll show you exactly why I'm not going to show you them all. In fact, this is the next mission. It's called Collect Eight Ox Horns. And you'll be surprised to hear that collecting eight ox horns is pretty similar to collecting seven teal stones. Very similar, in fact. It's the same stage, the same boats come along, and the same baddies come on. Um, the other good thing about these side missions, really, is it allows you to sort of hone your skills, I guess. Um, you can try out weapons. Not on all of them, mind you. Like, all of the Land of Sea ones force you to use a sword, all of the Land of... Um, all of the Land of... Ow, dicks. Not Land of Dicks, though. That'd be kind of weird. Well, Zero might like the Land of Dicks. Um, let's see. The... Uh, I was going to say, the land of seas is all swords, the land of mountains is all spears, the land of whatever is afterwards is all the weapon after that. You get the idea? It's kind of like that. So, yoink. Whatever. Just slay these guys slowly but surely. Whee! Stab. Yoink, yoink. Oh dear. Uh, right, that's what happens when you get hit by a bomb, like an idiot. Take a load of damage and let's just clear these guys out. Yeah, in Tony mode, it lets you fly across the battlefield at super speed as well, which is always amazing. If you kill people in a Tony mode, it allows you to keep going because it absorbs their blood. So if you can keep up the sort of pace, you can do a lot of stuff. You don't normally take damage in a Tony mode either, so if you are against a huge enemy and you won't. Oh, there we go. You're against a huge enemy and you can't avoid an attack, you can jump into intoner mode to get an invulnerability frame, which is kind of useful, especially on some of the big, big enemies later on, because they're a nuisance. Cool beans! Mission complete! There you go, those are the side missions. Uh, once again, I would love you all if you please would leave comments and whatnot and let me know what you think and how you think the sets are going, do you like the side missions, do you not like the side missions, etc, etc. Um... That was it. What do you guys think of the set? What do you guys think? The st how do you guys think the story's going? Uh, do you like the way the story's going? What do you think of Dito? I think he's a nutter, personally. I think he's a nutter, if a likable nutter. So there you go. All right, guys. Thank you very much for watching. And uh, ooh, uh, did I save it? Probably not. Oh well. I think I saved it. It saved us for every mission anyway. Anyway, yes. I was getting distracted, wasn't I? Oh, the music. <clears throat> anyway, point being, thank you very much for watching, guys. I appreciate it. Uh, I hope you'll tune in next time, which will be Sunday, with Saturday being the new video set. Not Castlevania. Something else. Anyway, thanks, guys. Appreciate that. Until next time.